Hi everyone, I will present a paper co-authored by Hu Song Liu, Sheng Liang Lu, Xin Yu Chen, and Bing Sheng He. This work is a graph neural network training system that leverages parallel ground processing system on GPUs. We will first briefly introduce GNN and its wide research interest in academia and industry. We will then point out that graph structure operations are the major bottlenecks in the popular GNN training system. It does motivate us to propose GQ by leveraging the native graph operations in parallel graph processing systems. We will then show you a demonstration of how of using our system's web-based interface for configurable GNN training, followed by a case study of predicting the COVID-19 cases in Singapore at the end of this demonstration. GNN's generalized deep representation learning to graph data and have achieved state-of-the-art performance across a number of graph-based tasks, such as no classification, link prediction, graph classification, and recommender systems. For example, a no classification task takes place in a semi-supervised setting, where the labels of some nodes are known, but some of them are unknown. So GNN performs recursive neighborhood ag aggregation operations where the model learns the features by inspecting neighbor nodes. This enables lines of application like shop searching and e-commerce, traffic prediction, etc. Interesting audience may find out more about the, the node classification, link prediction in the reference, and also in the survey listed down here. In this work, we identify that most of the time in GNN training goes to the graph structured operations. These graph structured operations include gathering neighbors activations, send vertices activations, etc. We studied the time breakdown of training GNN using the existing popular frameworks PyTorch and TensorFlow for both CPU and GPU counterparts. As shown in the following figure that 44 to 99 percent of the overall training time is spent on graph structure operations. Even with GPU accelerations, it's still the major bottleneck. In this work, we advocate that by introducing parallel graph processing system to GNN, we can fundamentally improve graph structure operations and the overall efficiency of GNN training. We develop GQ by extending one of the state-of-the-art parallel graph processing systems on GPUs. Gunrock with essential neural network operations supported by other libraries. Compared with PyTorch, TensorFlow, Gcube contains graph components including graph structured operations, graph data management, workflow mapping, and load balancing. These components are commonly available in graph processing system at high performance, but were not introduced in previous GNN systems. Gcube significantly reduced the graph operations execution time from 80% down to 20% of the total execution time and improved the overall performance. As a result, Gcube shows 1.6 to 101 times speed up than PyTorch and TensorFlow on their CPU and GPU counterparts. Next, we'll demonstrate how to train a GNN model using Gcube's web based interface. There is an input panel on the left side of the web interface. User can select input data set and choose preset GNN models. The available layers and the current GNN models are, are shown in the bottom and top of the page respectively. User can click the available layers given here to assemble a GNN model. The training can start by clicking the submit button. Let's get started. First, we select the preset configurations on the left and all the layers will be listed in the current layers panel. Then we simply click Submit. The input data set will go through all the layers for 100 epoch by default, and Gcube returns the result at the right side. Also, Gcube enables easy tuning of GNN model. You can simply edit the configuration of each individual layer and retrain the model. We have the commonly used training data set stored at the back end, and user can select them for training. Furthermore, the web app allows users to try out various combinations of the GNN layers without touching the codes. Let's say we add on a dropout layer, matrix modifications, and aggregation. And we can retrain the model by clicking the Submit button. We also integrate a easy-to-use system monitors. 
to let user observe their training performance. We can adjust the duration of the monitoring. Let's say we changed from last minute five minutes to last one minute and last 15 minutes as well. And we can observe that the GPU utilization of training in the ready data set is pretty high as it goes up to 100%. While all the other systems running out of memory on this data set, we are only occupying 20% of the total GPU, so which is uh, more memory efficient. Next, we briefly present that we use Gcube to predict the future COVID-19 cases in different regions of Singapore. The Ministry of Health released the details of newly confirmed cases every day and report the link among cases. We convert the daily reports to graph structure data in clusters and retrain the GNN model based on the geospatial regions of Singapore. Still, we can use the Gcube's web-based API to train the model based on the data sets. Besides, this model can be applied to predicting the donkey fevers as well. Here comes to the end of our demonstrations. To conclude, we introduced GQ for efficient GN trainings on GPUs by leveraging the NUAF native operations in paragraph processing systems. We believe this is an initial but important step for bridging the gap in GN training towards native graph optimizations. We are maintaining Gcube actively, and you can find all the code and all the materials at our GitHub repo. We would like to open source Singapore COVID-19 datasets, and hope we can introduce Gcube to Rapid AI for wider adoption. And that brings us to the end. I'd like to thank you for your time and attention. If anyone has any questions, I'll be happy to open up the discussion. Thank you.